Okay, in this video we're going to look at the distal parts of the lower limb. Taking the tibia here, you can see again where it articulates with the femur. And on this anterior surface we have what's known as the anterior tibial tuberosity. This is where the patellar ligament will insert. It's also where the tendons of the quadricep muscles will insert. Just lateral to this we have the fibula which is just the stabilizer bone. This is the fibular head. You'll notice it doesn't actually articulate with the femur, only with the proximal end of the tibia. Down here at the distal end, we have what's known as the lateral malleolus, this extension that you might otherwise call your ankle. The tibia here has a sharp ridge just like the femur, only this is on the anterior surface called the tibial crest. And as we come to the distal end of the tibia, we have a medial malleolus. This would be, again, a portion of bone that you would refer to as your ankle, and if you hit it, it tends to be painful. Here we have the foot, and it would articulate with the tibia at the talus, this top bone here. And then if we turn the bone just so in view, you can look at the entire foot. Uh, there's a little mnemonic device to remember all of these bones that make up the tarsals collectively. They are the talus, the calcaneus, the cuboidal, the navicular, the medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiforms. But if you remember, Tom can control not much in life. It makes it a little easier to understand and remember these bones. Finally, we have what are known as the metatarsals, starting with the most medial and largest one would be tar metatarsal number one, two, three, four, five, representing the bones just prior to the phalanges, which are, this is the great toe or the halix, one, two, three, four, five.